Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, we call this Maker Monday. It's just a day that we've set aside to show you what we've been working on in the test kitchen. And, um, you know, we've got a very special day coming up, May 12th. If you're not aware of it, guess what? It's Mother's Day. Um, so I want to encourage you, as I was thinking about this morning, um, I am very, very blessed to have my mother, who is still living, who uh, will be 96 this August uh, 15th, and my father, um, which many of you know, we will be celebrating his centennial birthday on August 14th. Um, so I am incredibly blessed to have my mother alive this Mother's Day, and I plan on having her at my house, which is where we are filming from this morning, um, outside on my patio. Um, but a lot of us, maybe your mother isn't still here, maybe, um, but you have friends that are mothers, and many of us have friends that their children are away and they don't have their children really making that day special. And I thought, what a great opportunity to bless our friends and make something for them for Mother's Day. You know, on Valentine's Day, we, we do Galentines. So I just really wanna encourage you, maybe if you're not making a gift for your mother, make a gift for your friend that is a mother. Um, and then that way make her feel very, very special. So what's better than having a gift that's been made just for you that no one else has. That's to have it monogrammed or specialized. And we've put together something for you today that's a sweet little bundle that allows you to be able to make a whole lot of different gifts, whether it's on stationery or clothing or um, towels or home goods or decorating things. So I wanna show you just very quickly some of the projects that we've been working on using the products that we've put together in a little bundle for you today. So let's look at them really quickly. So here is a recyclable bag. Um, you know, if you go to the grocery store, um, if you've got kids that are taking ballet or dance lessons or any type of sports, these bags are super uh, to put snacks in and they're, um, they're recyclable, and that way we're not using plastic bags. So how great is it to be able to monogram it? That way you know that that's yours. You know, I was just thinking, you can also monogram your luggage. You, if you wanna be able to tell your luggage from everybody else, you can make tags for your luggage and you can monogram them. Look at these darling little note cards that we've made. Now here we did use another one of our stencils. It's from our Toile stencil. Um, and we used our gold chalk art that I'm getting ready to show you. And we, we uh, made a customized, which for moi, A-H, so I get to be able to use this and use a gold pen and write somebody a little note. Um, those are adorable and so inexpensive to make. Look at this. Here is a really cute spring clutch. Um, and guys, this is from Goodwill. So that way you think about being able to take some things from your closet or maybe the thrift store and customize them. Look at these simple little tea towels. These are from the dollar section. You can get them at uh, Target. You can get them um, online. You can get them at Walmart. And they're great tea towels that you can use our gel inks that will be permanent that allows you to be able to give that as a custom gift. Uh, there again, it makes it feel very special once that person's initials is on it. That's how it sets it all apart. So these are just some little gift bags. You know, we're getting ready to be... Um, in the summer season where you're outside and I love taking little plastic wear and putting it in little bags out by the pool so that way people um, think that we've gone to some extra attention to be able to welcome them as our guest. These are some little coasters that um, I've actually gotten at a state sale. They're really sweet little linen coasters that we've customized uh, with our gel inks and our monogram art. Look at this darling napkin that's linen, the quality there again is so beautiful. Where did we get these from? Um, Amazon. So these were from Amazon. Um, I, you know, there are a lot of home, with, home goods stores that have this type of linen napkin, but the quality of it in this threading here is just beautiful, the stitching. Um, so it monograms beautifully with our gel inks. And I wanted to just show you this. Um, if you want to get a really good deal um, at estate sales, guys, linens is it. Linen napkins, linen tablecloths, linen, um, linen anything um, as far as placemats and everything, and you get them so, so cheap. 
Um, usually they're in the bedrooms, they're in bags, I take them out. Sometimes they're stained, uh, but there's a way you can bleach them and get that out. That's a whole other uh, Facebook Live. But these are, um, these are just some cocktail napkins that I had gotten at an estate sale. I got 40 of them, and they were hardly anything. Um, when it comes down to it, I don't, now look, see that one has stains on it, and I'm not going to use that one, um, but it was just in the pile of some of them that I had gotten, but these are easy, easy to monogram and do what I'm showing you today, and they're inexpensive. So, um, let's take a glance really quick out of all the gel inks. I'm just going to tell you guys, this goes so, so far, and we have formulated these gel inks to be permanent inks um, that will be, you can use them on clothes, you can use them on backpacks, um, you can use them on paper and that type thing, but they're primarily formulated to be used uh, with fabrics and they are permanent. So I want to be able to show you just how easy this is to be able to do. And in this little bundle we've put together for you, you're going to get three stencils. So you can see um, the three stencils here with the alphabet um, with lower and uppercase and also um, as far as how they fit together. And you'll get a gold chalk art, and you'll get the full size of the navy and the black um, gel inks. So, let's get started. And let me just show you how easy, easy this is. So, one thing that you want to make sure that you do, if you're working on linen like this, I would prefer that you either put a piece of cardboard or something underneath it. Don't have it folded over like this and work on it because then that's going to stain that other side. Um, it won't go through as far as where it doesn't look nice afterwards, but you want to just make sure that you open this up like this and work on this particular section. So there again, um, now we did use another one of our products. We have a whole series of stamps uh, that you can use that are really fun and easy that we just added here for some detail. I talk to people about having a DIY pantry. If you're new to a maker studio, we have so many great products that uh, that we will use a lot of times in and out with one another as far as saying, okay, here we just popped on one of our B stamps with our inks. So you can use our inks with the stamps too. Hey, now remember guys, this is um, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. We're coming to you live from Memphis from my home, my patio. So if you're watching and you have questions, please ask questions. It's my time to be able to answer them for you and educate you how to be able to use our products. The other thing is, um, let me know where you're from. Send me some hearts, send me some love. This is something that we do every Monday to be able to educate you on how to craft a beautiful life. Um, so, you know, the other thing that I love is the fact that uh, these gel art inks have no VOCs. Um, our chalk arts have no VOCs. You don't have to worry about um, smell, you don't have to worry about odor. They are water-based, so they're gonna rinse right out of your hands, um, and that's why I don't have to worry about using um, gloves or anything like that. So are we good on questions, guys? Are we good? All right. So, let me see. I'm gonna use, I'll go in and use the A and the H. So, if you're, if you're watching for the first time and you're just now seeing this, see all these lines on these stencils? These are basically cut lines, so I can cut these up um, and then that way I've, it'll come in a little bag. I want to put it back in the little clear bag that I've got. But I'm just going to cut an A. I love this beautiful breeze out here, but it might not be so great as far as filming and stuff goes flying away. So we'll just pardon me for that. And I'm going to grab H. So you're going to see as you're getting these depending on your letters and where they go. I'm just going to do my A and my H. So that way I have another H, depending on the placement, that you see how it's totally the opposite direction. So that way I'm choosing the H that has the long side, uh, the straight side on the right, because that way I can put my A and my H together like this. All right? So if I want to, another thing that we have in this uh, monogram stencil is the fact that there is a circle if you want to be able to create a circle so that way it looks like this if you want to put it around it. and look what I could do I could also come back and add a pineapple at the top of that don't you love that so so cute or if you want if we've got a maybe a young lady that has a ballet bag we're gonna make or we want to customize maybe her um, pillowcases or her sheets 
or baby blanket or anything, guys. It's endless. Then that way I could come back and pop that on there. I love the fact, too, that the gel inks, they come in so many gorgeous colors. Um, so that way you can customize it any way you want. All right, so I'm going to take the backing off of this. So you're going to notice with our stencils, there's a mesh backing. And because it's adhesive and because you can wash them and use them over and over again. So that way you can see. Can you see that mesh through there? We're going to be pressing that gel ink through that mesh. Just want to position this on here. I don't know about y'all, but I, spring is my favorite time of year. And if it's not raining, I'm going to probably be put doing some, some of my Facebook Lives from right out here on this patio because it's one of my favorite places. I know this is so goofy. Let's scan up here for just a second. I want to show them something. <laughs> um, aren't these fun? Out here under this little gazebo that we have on our patio, I found these old sconces. Um, they're just metal, and I had painted them. And I came back and I put some old moss on them and uh, glued it on there. And these were prisms that I found at different estate sales. I really do do what I tell you. I don't want you to think this is not some make-believe thing that I, it looks good. I am a curbside shopper. I love going to estate sales. Um, and I think I was, it's, it is kind of funny when I go, I try not to do Facebook lives at these estate sales, but like when I go, people will go, look, look at that. Like, they're watching what I'm buying or what I'm going to get, so it makes it a lot of fun. But look how I hung these uh, mismatched prisms from chandeliers all over. Is that not so fun? Um, now you can see that my beeswax candles have dripped, and I'm going to have to clean them out and get ready for the summer uh, to be able to use these out here. But I just thought, you're probably seeing that from behind where I'm talking, and you're going, what is that thing behind her? So I thought I would at least explain it to you. So isn't that fun? Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to lay down, now I just realized I got the wrong one. Let me grab, okay, yes, all right, so I just flipped that, can everybody see? All right, so I just want to make sure that it's stuck in stuck down it's adhesive and i'm going to come back on this linen color it's going to be really pretty to have black ink black goes on almost everything of course it's really fun to do pinks and yellows and bright colors like we did on our purse let me show you this see how we just did this on this purse so your shoes your purses your bags all that type thing it's adorable on the the um, ink will go in that as well all right, so I'm just going to lay this down. I'm going to press this through this mesh. You want to work fairly quickly. And I do, if you're, if you're nervous about getting the ink on the other part of your napkin or piece that you're working on, then that's okay. I would just come back and put some tape there so it's kind of protected. Can you get a close-up of this? I don't want my hand to cover up what we're trying to show them. Because, guys, I'm just going to tell you, the cool thing is with these, um, with these monogram stencils, really and truly, if, you, if you're a maker and you maybe even set up at crafts fairs, you could set it up and make things for people right there. Gosh, how cool would that be? It's like you could have an example of like coasters done, and they're like, oh, a monogram. It's like, okay, no problem. So that way you just take your stencil, um, and then that way you're demoing, and you can customize them for somebody right there. Love that. So if I wanted to, I do want to make sure that I allow this to dry, but I could come back, and I could do my circle around it. Um, I could put my pineapple on top, or I could do a bumblebee. Um, but I, I love, I just think this is so classic. I could put it just a little closer together if I wanted to, but to me, that is the epitome of classic. Um, and it could cost a lot of money. If you wanted to turn around and do a whole lot of um, napkins like this, it could cost a lot of money. This way, it's literally pennies for each one. How classic is that? Awesome. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take, got a rag here. I just wanna make sure that I clean that up. Are there any questions? Are we good? Awesome, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna let that dry. Now I wanna show you just how easy it is to be able to make some custom stationery. Now I'm gonna use our chalk art. Um, guys, I'm just gonna tell you, if you've never worked with our metallic chalk art, this is a totally different product. It does have calcium carbonate in it, which is a chalk. Um, it does have mica powders in it, which is a beautiful uh, natural gold. Can you see that? Look at the shimmer. You can use this with our stencils and it literally uh, looks like you've gold leafed it. It's so gorgeous. Awesome. So let's look at an example right here that I was showing you earlier. This is done just on simple little paper. You can create your own note cards, uh, thank you notes. You can create your own invitations. Uh, but this, if you open that up in an envelope, would you not go, wow, that looks so expensive. I can literally create this for pennies because with these stencils, I can use them over and over and over again. Okay. Another question. Yes. Kristen said, how long does it take to dry the napkin? Oh, I love that. All right, so this is Kristen. All right, Kristen, so let's, uh, after you've done this, you wanna be able to allow it to dry about two hours. Just air dry like this. So then after it's dried for two hours, then I want you to come back and take another rag or just a cotton cloth and lay on top of it and then heat press it. This protects it, but that way the heat, you wanna get it to about 250 degrees and just allow it to sit on top of there for four or five minutes, just going around in a circle and that will heat press it so that goes down into the fibers of the fabric and it's permanent. Now, when you wash it, you do wanna make sure if it, let's say if it's a t-shirt or if it's um, some clothes, of course, you know, guys, we have flower stencils. We have all different kinds of stencils um, that aren't just the monogramming, that you can do them going down um, maybe a uh, side of your pants or jeans, or maybe you wanna be able to customize a onesie for a, a baby or anything. It's endless. We have an adventure stencil, and I loved how one of our maker's grandchildren, she made t-shirts for him that was like adventure, because he, like you go to camp. How fun is it to be able to go get some inexpensive t-shirts and things from Goodwill and customize them and monogram them for your kids getting ready to go to camp? Because I'm just going to tell you, some people are like, well, I'm not going to buy my clothes at Goodwill for my, for my children. They're not going to come home. Most of the time when I packed my kids for camp, those clothes never came back. So don't go spend a lot of money and get expensive clothes. Customize them and make them cute. Um, and go go get inexpensive t-shirts at Target or Goodwill or a thrift store or a garage sale and then that way customize them and make them adorable um, and then you get to enjoy the bragging rights from it um, and then you can even monogram them so they know um, that uh, that it's theirs oh and here's something else we're gonna be showing you some photography later on this week and next week um, but we have a brand new stencil that goes on sale today that has calendar Monday through Friday on it we did some adorable socks. I don't just think about having every day of the week on them. Um, if they go off to camp, you could literally say, wear this on Monday and like put it on their, uh, their socks or their underwear or whatever. Yes. Andrea wants to know what type of paper do you use for stationery? You know, it's best to use, um, so is it Andrea? The paper for stationery needs to be more like watercolor paper or stationery paper. Like we'll go to Paper Source um, and they have all kinds of note cards in there. You can buy packs of note cards. Um, that way they're a little bit thicker. You don't want to use um, regular printer paper. You want it to be a little bit thicker. But we go to Paper Source and we buy a pack of them. So that way they're really inexpensive um, and they, have, they come in a ton of different colors. Love that question. Are we okay on Instagram? All right. So the other thing is when you're working with clothes, uh, you wanna make sure that um, turn them inside out when you wash them and it's best to wash them on a cool cycle of water. Um, and then I usually try to stay away from the dryer because especially if I love the design, I want it to stay strong and bright. Uh, so I, st I stay away from the dryer on things like that if I can, or a cool dryer. All right, so let me just show you one more thing. I'm gonna cut out another letter just to be able to show you, and then that way, uh, okay. I'm just gonna tell you, there's nothing more rewarding than doing this yourself, just seeing how, how easy it is. 
And the fact that you, um, you do it for a friend, they're like so impressed, like, oh my gosh, those are my letters. And you can wash these and use them over and over again multiple times. Especially with the gel inks, they're so, so easy. All right, love this. All right, so once again, I'm gonna pull the back off. You see how I cut it? And with our stencils, uh, you don't have to put them on anything to make them stick with the paper. I just put it directly on top of there. I have no nails, no glasses, so it makes it hard to see and hard to put this on here. All right. I'm just going to show you just how easy. Now, with the gel art, remember this is a uh, calcium carbonate. It does actually have chalk in it. And I've cut my spreader up. You're going to get a spreader in with this, but you see how very little you're going to need to be able to do this. And I'm going to lay this down. Spread it through that mesh. Now, the chalk art, I'm not going to use that on um, fabric. I'm just going to use this on whether I'm doing a sign or whether I'm making my stationery. A lot of times I'll just kind of use my the edge of this and pull this up. Look how easy that is. Now I've got this gorgeous gold metallic B that I can come back and finish my monogramming on it to show you just how easy it is, like I did on this one over here. So you can add little flowers, little details of stencils and things that we have. So hopefully this just inspired you um, to do something special for Mother's Day. I'm going to start working on some um, cork pads. These are great coasters, inexpensive, easy to monogram. Um, put a really adorable satin bow around them. You know, a lot of people don't realize, but you can get wider grow gang, grow gang, um, Grow, grow, grow grain, grain. <laughs> grow grain, grow grain, uh, ribbon, and you can customize it. You can put little bumblebees on it. You can um, make them look adorable. Just uh, uh, there again, something special that you made just for you and for people that you want to be able to bless with gifts. And wrap a cute little bow around this and have it monogrammed. How fun is that? Just happies. You know, in the South, if you're not from the South, and, and people up North are probably going, well, we do that too. I love giving happies. It's like just being able to have somebody, if you meet them for lunch or you meet them for coffee and just give them something and say, here, I made this for you. It, it's really, really special. Yes? A couple of questions. One from Ortiz asked, when you use the stencil once, will it stick again? Yes. Yes, no problem. So you want to make sure when you clean it that you can come back. I'll put this in some uh, tap water and just take a little sponge and clean it off and allow it to dry up like this. So that way um, you want to make sure the, the adhesive side dries with air. Don't put it on um, fabric or anything that has a fiber. And then that way just put the backing back on it. And then that way you can use it again when you're ready. Another question is, well, do you have to seal the core? No, you do not have to seal the cork. So what's going to happen, the ink, which depending on which one you use, the ink, and you can layer it. So I don't know why, just because of this blue, I was just thinking, how cute would this be? We have an adorable anchor stencil. You could do an anchor stencil on top of this and then do the monogram on top of it, like in red, and have that out by the beach. Take that to the pool um, and be able to use them as coasters. So you can layer stencils and designs, just allow it to be able to dry but it's going to soak down into the fight the natural fibers of the um, of the cork and it'll dry you'll be fine when will the kit be available the kit's going to be available on Wednesday so this is a bundle that we've put together with special pricing we are shutting down our website we're transitioning over to a brand new platform tomorrow so the bundle will be available on Wednesday uh, so we'll send you out some information about it and a blog post and this video so that way you can watch it and see how to use it. Are we good? Robin wants to know, can you use three letters together? You can use three letters together, yes. So that way you've got your first name, your middle name, and your last name, so yes. We were just doing simple, easy um, AHs uh, for me that I love to be able to use projects that we've done. But you can very easily do three letters together. That's awesome. 
All right, guys, this is the second day of the week, um, but I hope that it's off to a great start. Thank you for tuning in with me today. Um, and be thinking about all the incredible gifts that you can make and get some friends together um, and make gifts with them um, because it's your turn to enjoy the bragging rights. Have a fantastic week.